Hey man, shout out to Daniel Bill Doe with the buy me a coffee donation request. So we got, he says more David Bowie, bro. I'm feeling the Dave Bowie reactions, man. That's what he's saying. We're going to panic in Detroit in 1983. So this is the remastered version of that song. Um, I really do like the last two David Bowie songs that we did. I have a short playlist of that um, below the description in the comment section. Um, I'll make his playlist when I upload this. Well, at the time this is, you guys are seeing this, it'll be in the comment section. So with that being said, let's get it. I'm going to have to look up the lyrics for this one. Um, his vocals sound good and clear, but for some reason, like, it's, look, it sounds low. Maybe that's me. Let me check. No, that's not me. Um, but let me see. Let me go go find these lyrics real quick. All right. Let me see. Panic in Detroit. Panic in Detroit. Okay. So, I don't know who the, he said, he looked a lot like Shea Guerrero, Gu, Guarba, Guevara. Yeah, okay. Drove a diesel van, kept his gun in quiet seclusion, such a humble man. The only survivor of the National People's Gang. Panic in Detroit. Oh, shoot. Let me see. Let me see if these... Lyrics might not be formatted. Let me look at the genius. Okay, there we go. He said, Panic in Detroit. I asked for an autograph. He wanted to stay home. I wish someone would phone Panic in Detroit. That's crazy. Uh, That's a little... Why the lyrics sound so cryptic though? I'm loving the drums, though. I can hear the flans whooshing in right there.
I get this like very eccentric energy from uh David Bowie, especially with this right here. You know what I'm saying? He got the lightning across his face painted looking like a uh 1970s uh, ultimate warrior right here. But uh what's up, Roger? Say love when you reacted to my uh Led Zeppelin, my favorite band. I plan on doing a reaction uh to the first Led Zeppelin album. I just haven't got to it yet, but I will. It is coming in the future, but um David Bowie has like a very eccentric style and he almost reminds me of Led Zeppelin because none of the first three songs I've heard from him, none of it sounds the same. Vocally, it may sound similar, but uh, he seems to like, David Bowie seems to be having a flexible experimentation type of muscle with this one. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's continue on. Good background vocal. The drums really bring me back into the song. Okay, we got a drum break. Okay, we hitting that drum circle right here. What up, CD? Now, my biggest issue with this song is I don't know what the heck David Bowie talking about. Okay, so because when I look at the lyrics, he said, okay, so after the second hook or the second chorus, he says, at the bridge of the song, he says, putting on some clothes, I made my way to school and found my teacher crouching in his overalls. I screamed and ran to smash my favorite slot machine and jumped the silent cars that slept at traffic lights. Verse three, having scored a trillion dollars, made a run back home, found him slumped across the table, a gun and me alone. I ran to the window and looked for a plane or two. Panic in Detroit. He left me an autograph. Let me collect dust. And then it repeats that two times. And then that's the outro, outro of the song. I don't know. Now, there could be a, some slight, uh, there could be some slight references here to kind of like really help you understand, like the, the understand what's going on. Like, um, you know, when you see, I ran to smash my favorite slot machine, jump silent cars that slept at traffic lights. There's a picture being drawn, right? But it feels very abstract from my point of view, lyrically, right? But let me know how you guys feel about this one. Shout out to, I keep my memory. Said uh, shout out to Daniel Bill Doe for this one. Um, if you guys like the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Also, uh, if you want to support the channel monetarily, man, you can go in the description, visit the Patreon, buy me a coffee, uh, and consider a super thanks. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with that being said. I catch you guys at another one.